there everyone, it's Aish here, back again with another video and today, in this video, I have a very amazing surprise for all of you. With this video, I would like to launch our very first live bootcamp, a project-based bootcamp which is going to help you to build portfolio as well as to understand the technology from in and out. I have said this multiple times over the years that one of the best way to get a job ready portfolio is to have something in your portfolio which you have personally built and you understand each and everything about it. From this video I would like to introduce our very first live bootcamp where we are going to learn how to build a project both from backend, frontend and deploy that project so that hundreds of people can use it. With this video, I would like to introduce our live boot camps. These are not recorded videos. In this, in this live boot camp, the trainers are going to walk along with you so that you can learn how to build a project. Together, we are going to build a clone of Spotify. I've said it multiple times. Building clone of these great, amazing, gigantic website always gives you a good idea of how technology work. For this project, the Spotify clone that we are going to build, we are going to use HTML, CSS, Bootstrap, PHP and MySQL and some technologies here and there to make sure this project works nicely. This is going to be a fantastic experience for all of you. But first and foremost, we need to understand one very important thing. That is what we are going to build in this project. So let's go ahead and check out what are the feature and functionality that we are going to design to Together. So it is a very easy to understand project and we're going to work through with a step-by-step -step process of building it. So this is how and what we are going to create. It's a kind of a clone of Spotify and we are going to use multiple things. The focus of this entire uh, live bootcamp is, is to make sure that you understand how the back end is being designed, how the front end is being designed and how to mix them together so that we can make a full-fledged project that is ready to serve thousands of people. So this is how it looks like. We have got a Spotify quick link some of the social icons. Visually, I would say this is decent okay, but definitely it's not looking bad, but it's a good project. And we're going to also walk through with this help section. Just click on this help and it's going to give you a, this kind of a modal window. And from this modal window, we are going to learn how we can reuse some of the components using PHP. And it has got a couple of uh, features. First and foremost, let's talk about the admin feature that we have. So I'm going to walk uh, log in into the admin feature and uh, let's go ahead and log in into that. And we're going to be designing all of this, so no big deal. Uh, let's go ahead and this is how, no, please don't save, don't save. And this is how the admin feature looks like. It's going to look absolutely beautiful just like this one. We have the toggle feature up here to bring back all of this. If you look at this about homepage, this is all going to be working. We have got this genre management, song management, moods. So you can manage all of your genre, like add and view all of them. We can have moods, we can have artists. Uh, you can view all of these artists up here, can delete them. Of course, all of the current functionality is included. We have song management as well. You can upload your own song, can add song length, artist, genre, and a whole bunch of things. Uh, we do have user facility, of course, to check out how many users are actually on your website. We have got favorites and some of the homepage elements to be managed managed right from the admin interface. And this is how it looks like. Absolutely beautiful, absolutely stunning, very minimalistic, but looks absolutely amazing. We do, of course, have the logout feature up here and at the very teeny tiny button up here, which looks absolutely dope. So just click on that and it gives you a simple logout successful message up here. So this is like the basic admin functionality that we are having up here. Of course, you can surely add and increase that functionality once you have understood how this is being done. And surely we do have a login user, uh, user login as well. So let's go ahead and log in with the user as well. Okay. Oops and there we go so nice and of course sign up is also working absolutely fine we can click on this login and there we go this is how the login works so no please don't save anything and of course once i click on this any play button uh, you can go into the playing area and the bottom you can see this is a playing bar and of course it works absolutely fine and amazingly too for any of the uh, music that you have added up here and based on that, user can actually click on this small heart icon to enroll anything into its favorite library or not. So you can create a library of your favorites as well. 
and then we have got categories as well we have got genres as well mood artist favorite so it's a pretty complex project that we are going to be designing and in the library you can check out all of these uh, upcoming songs and nice hover effects and everything so this is absolutely amazing absolutely awesome you can go on to the home page can have a list right now for the dummy purpose we have just got new release like five or six uh, but surely can be added more from the admin interface if you can add five definitely you can add sixth one and seventh one as well so pretty decent project and this can be really a shiner project into your portfolio now coming back on to the video stuff now that you understand that what we are going to build throughout this project there are a couple of more features that i'm also gonna walk you through now number one thing that is very important with this is this is a class that you can take right from your home you don't need to visit our office you can just write at your home with a decent internet speed of around 2 mbps and you can watch all these videos absolutely fantastically fine you can also your ask your questions during the session if you have any problem or anything there will be a full support from our team so that we can help you as best as we can but not only that we are pushing our help support to one more level with this course we are also giving one credit to every single student and you can use that credit to interact with one-on-one -on -one training with our trainers and entire team so that if you face any problem you get entire one hour to just discuss and resolve all of your bugs now surely we have added more FAQs in the link which is given in the description section. You can check that out and can find more about what's going to be happen, frequent questions that are being answered there. Now one more thing that I would like to discuss here is that make sure that you have some dedicated time during the entire training because these are live trainings. So these are not recorded videos that you can watch anytime. These are live trainings so make sure you take out some time out of your busy schedule to make sure you make that amazing portfolio and add this Spotify loan in your portfolio. Now, in order to maintain the quality and the content that we want to deliver, of course, we have to restrict the seats. So we are restricting our seats to just 20 students. I know this is not really a fair game. People want to enroll more, but we want to craft the quality at the very best. So in this very first bootcamp, we are only taking 20 students in that. And since I posted this video first on Instagram, a kind of a story, uh, we have already sold out for five seats. So yeah, the seats are very limited. But of course, we want to deliver absolutely best in the quality just like we always have been doing it. So in case you are interested in building this amazing project via full understanding of how everything works in this Spotify clone, go ahead, visit the link which is in the description section below. Uh, call our team or just drop us an email or whatever, however you want to reach us. We are always ready here to help you out. So go ahead, book your seat right now and let's build this amazing Spotify clone together.